All right, hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today we are going to be setting up some more A5 binders and I'm super, super excited about it. So yeah, I have two more A5 binders in front of me. Um, if you don't know, a couple of months ago, it's definitely been a couple months at this point, I set up a couple of A5 binders just because I wanted to try them out and I wanted to try storing some photo cards in a bit of a different way than I've been doing the past couple of years. Yeah, I tried it out and I actually really ended up loving it. And so since then, I've been trying to think of different ways to use A5 binders in my collection because honestly, having a ton of giant binders can get a little much <laughs> after a while. So yeah, um, I decided to get a couple more A5s. I do have three A5s already. I have one that has my Espa and Itzy collection in it. And then I have one that has my TXT and and hyphen collections in it. And then I have one that has my OT6 um, Ive collection in it. It's a wide A5, but these are just the traditional size A5 binders. I did find these on Amazon. I'm probably gonna order from G Market moving forward because I recently opened a Korean address. And so it's gonna be a lot cheaper to just get stuff from there. Cause I was looking at G Market prices and I was like, yeah, I'm probably just gonna do K adding from now on, but that's where I got them. Um, a lot of times people ask me where I get my A5 binders and when I link things to them, they're sold out. So I will link a couple stores I've used um, before, but yeah, today we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thankfully, these A5 binders did come with two packs of sleeves which is really nice because that means I think we have about 40 sleeves here, which is really good because I thought I had extra like four pocket sleeves and turns out I had like three. So yeah, I haven't even told you what we're doing today. So we're gonna put a couple of extensions of my collections in A5 binders today. We're gonna move my Monstex Japanese cards in here. Um, the exception to that is gonna be Wano's most recent Japanese single, his only Japanese single as a soloist. Um, that's gonna stay in the Wano binder, um, but the Wano and Kihyun cards from before then are gonna go in an A5 binder. And then I'm also gonna move some Stray Kids into an A5 binder. Um, I'm not quite sure what exactly yet, but yeah, <laughs> let's do Monster X first. I just unboxed my Monster X albums. It's really exciting because yeah, it is exam season. So I don't have a ton of time today, but I did want to start filming this video today. So let me get my Monster X binder. My camera's not really set up for like a large binder right now. Yeah, just ignore that. We're not gonna be in here for too, too long. Mm -hmm. So basically like, you know, everybody knows what Monster X photo card size are like, right? They're different. Um, mine is their American releases and their Japanese releases. I think we're just gonna do Japanese and kind of see what that looks like. I thought about moving um, like American releases into that binder too, but I kind of like the way that my American pages are set up in this nine pocket layout. So like, this is my one for all about love. This is a, a fan made card, by the way. I feel like I need to point that out every time because people will message me and be like, where did you get a Wano photo card? It's not real. Um, and then this is for the dreaming, this page, and then also this page. I'm gonna put Kihan's card here and then the third group card here. So I kind of already have it set up for like nine pockets. Um, so I won't be taking those out. So I'm gonna leave these here. And then we are gonna be taking out these though. And I'll leave the larger Japanese stuff in this binder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, also if you watched my reorganize, like my last sorting photo card video, um, I did end up reorganizing Are You There? So look how good it looks together. It's so cute. I'm trying to decide how I feel about the pointing cards, but I definitely like them here more than like the heart cards. But the heart cards are kind of weird and so I'm kind of glad that they're on their own page. I didn't think about that when I was doing this, but um, it is really nice to have like, like the sets look really nice together. So hopefully I can get the other Changyun cards soon. Also, this was the wrong Are You There version, so I just crossed it off. <laughs> so yeah. So we did free up a little more space in here. 
Not that I ever plan on adding anything to this binder again, but we do have quite a bit of space in here now. So that's really nice. I mean, I plan on adding more like, I mean, if I wanted to expand the OT7 sets anymore, um, I could and I wouldn't have to worry about space. So that's nice, but otherwise it just kind of frees up a little space in that binder. So honestly, the most annoying part of this video is that we have to re-sleeve every single card. I thought about doing this beforehand, but make sure I keep this in the correct order. And then after a while, it is just like Kahan, obviously. Like there was a point where there was no more Wano in the releases. So hopefully it works out so that like these two cards can be together because I would like his two flavors of low cards to be on the same page. But yeah, so I should have brought like some questions to answer things, but hopefully this doesn't take too much time because I don't want to bore you guys, but I just felt like it'd be weird to have everything pre-sleeved before I did this, but overall, I guess I'll give you a little update on like A5 binders and how I'm liking them. Let me just do two separate piles for Wano and Kihan. I really do like them. I think eventually if I ever were to like downsize my photo card collection a lot, like I would never downsize Monstax and at this point, probably not Stray Kids. No, I wouldn't downsize Stray Kids. Um, and there's a couple of other groups I wouldn't downsize, but if I ever decided to downsize, I think it'd be really fun to have like a lot of A5 binders or not a lot, but like A5 binders for anyone who's not an ult. Um, and then like keep Monstax and Stray Kids and like, BTS and 17 and NCT, like those groups in larger binders. But yeah, it's been a long time since Monstax have had a Japanese comeback, which is, I mean, it makes sense because they couldn't really go to Japan for a while, but Wano's in Japan right now. Actually, at the time I'm filming this, he's in quarantine. <laughs> so that kind of sucks for him. Sorry, bestie. But yeah, he was at the airport yesterday. Um, or at some point, I don't remember, when he, whenever he went to the airport. And the bodyguard that was with him went to FanCon afterwards, after he dropped Wano off at the airport. Also, Wano looked like, sorry, not to be that person, <laughs> but I just feel like, if you look at Wano's bicep, and then you look at the small body, bodyguard next to him, if if something were to happen, if someone were, if someone were to run up to Wano, do you think, I just feel like, how do I say this? I love this, I love this manager so much. Like I love him so much. I just feel like Wano would have a better um, chance of taking care of himself. I feel like if anyone ever wanted to fight Wano, they would probably lose. <laughs> like I know that Wano is like a softy and his biceps were not made for fighting, but I feel like if it came down to it, he wouldn't really need a bodyguard, you know? Yeah. Remember that time when they had two photo cards per release? Like there are some things, um, I'll show you on the next page because there's none on this page, but there are some like special stickers released with each Japanese release. But yeah, there are some special like stickers released with every Japanese release and it wasn't really, have I always, I think I've always been like collecting those. Like even when Wano was in Monstax. There are some things that I didn't collect for Wano until after he left. Um, and there are some things that I've always collected for Wano. And it's hard to remember sometimes because it's been so long since I like had my little blackout and just started buying Wano things when he left. Yep, that was a fun time. But there are some things that I've always collected for Wano. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, these are like, these are a couple of special stickers that get released um, with the Japanese releases. Sometimes they're more associated with like concerts or events or things like that, but they're from like the certain era. The same, the back of the piece cards are so interesting. Also, I have, mm, it's been a long time since I've purchased a Monster X Japanese album randomly, because for the most part, I usually just end up, that's really sad. This one is gonna be too long. We're gonna have to see how that looks in a nine pocket, but or in a four pocket rather, but I'll keep it for the moment. Um, can't believe I'm talking to Kia next week. I haven't really thought about that fan sign very much. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think about my Juhan one very much. I mean, I've always like had things, I've had things for like three eras I wanted to say to Juhan, but yeah. I always um, used to buy 
Monstax cards for Japan on Makari. Never once was I like, I think at the very, very beginning when they first started releasing stuff in Japan, I bought the Japanese album um, and was like, oh yeah, that's fine. I'll just like do whatever. <laughs> trying to think about what to talk about and usually I don't have a problem but there really isn't much going on in my life right now. <laughs> I'm listening to Monstax's new album, having a great time with that. Um, I am working on exams so that's fun. All I do is study all day every day so that's fun. The other day my boss was like because I was telling her how like some of my finals weren't gonna count. She was like, I wish you wouldn't care about them. And I was like, I know, but I feel like I have to. Because some of, if you don't know, I'm transferring schools and my school has already told me, my new school, that some of what I'm taking right now isn't gonna transfer. So, <laughs> pretty silly, honestly. But yeah, I can't believe that um, Phenomenon was the last Japanese album that Wano was in. It feels like this album came out so long ago like i feel like the difference between phenomenon and um wish on the same sky like there was a huge huge time in between those two releases so <laughs> also i'm doing a fan con this weekend so that'll be fun i'll probably be editing this video waiting for fan con to start to be honest i think there is a so I'm a six gen Mombebe, so I used my like Mombebe account to buy my ticket on Interpark. Um, and then I just like redeemed it through my music taste, like a special code or whatever. Because I mean, I'm gonna use my fan, fan cafe benefits, <laughs> right? You also, I think get a special, it was a discounted price, first of all, but it was like 20 or $30 cheaper, which was pretty cute. Um, and then, um, you get like, uh, what's it called? Sound check. You get sound check for it. So sound check starts, I think at like 11.30 PM my time on Saturday night, but then actual fan con is at like 3 AM. So we're gonna have to see, I think I get like a rewatch later. I'm gonna have to see, I might try to get up early and like watch part of it. I don't know, because it's exam week, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know. But at least I wanna do sound check because they were pretty clear about how like, if you don't watch sound check, like you won't be able to see it ever again. So I was like, well, I'm definitely gonna do that. But I definitely wanted to get a ticket. It was really sad because Skids also is doing like a thing this weekend. So I think it might start like an hour after Monstax but I didn't end up um, doing skids's because I wasn't gonna buy two because I knew there was a chance because of the timing that I wasn't gonna watch even one of them, but I really do wanna try and watch FanCon if I can. We finally have all our cards sleeved. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But let's get into the binder. So here's the binder. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here. And honestly, I've thought about putting like some Monstex cards in an A5, but I just feel like Monstex cards look better in a normal, like traditional size binder. I'm also afraid to miss FanCon because like, what if they announce something? Like, I mean, I don't know what they could announce. <laughs> uh, I guess they could announce things like contracts or something. I don't know, just like the thought of the last day of the concert, just like, I don't know why I'm feeling like, like maybe they'll announce something tomorrow. All I know is that it looked super great seeing Monstax back with Monbebe as they should be performing. And same with Stray Kids, like when Stray, I watched Stray Kids' like some little highlight clips as well. And I was like, it's so nice to see like concerts coming back. Like I feel like, so K-pop really blew up a lot during COVID. And I just think about all the time, like all these people who have liked groups for years now at this point, like if you found them in 2020 or late 2019, um, like whatever K-pop group, doesn't have to be Monster X or Stray Kids, but like you've never experienced them doing like a legit concert. 
and I feel like concerts are they're one of my favorite parts of k-pop like I love going to k-pop concerts so much all right so basically I'm just gonna go through and like sort them by their equivalents doing Wano first and then Kihyun second these are two-sided um a5 sleeves which means that I could put cards on the back, but I'm gonna try to not do this. I don't think, honestly, I'm going to need to. Like, I think it'll be fine. But oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Just because like all of the Japanese sets are so cohesive as well. Like, pretty amazing, honestly. I think it would be nice too if you're like going on a trip to have an A5 binder or like a collect book or something. Cause if you wanted to take cards with you, you could just take this with you instead of like your whole binder or like you could be like, oh, I'm gonna take my A5 with me and just stick like a couple pages of cards in here. And that way you have a binder to keep them safe or a collect book to keep them safe, but you don't have like a huge three pound binder with you, like me. Like I'm going on a bunch of trips this summer and I'm going to like tour and I'm going to Street Kids' tour and I'm going like on a beach trip. And I was like, it would be really nice to take some cards with me to like take photos and stuff for Instagram. Like the thought of taking an entire huge binder with me just sounds like a lot. So I honestly might just swap out one of my A5s um, and take like some cards with me. Like just take whatever's in the binder out and store it somewhere else momentarily. And then, this is so nice. Like how many different eras have four cards? Just looks really nice. I mean, this is from Beautiful and this is Spotlight, but. Oh, but you know, it's not gonna work out perfectly. No, there's three cards left. <laughs> there's three cards left for her person. Why are the alligator cards back here anyways? Like, why are they all the way back here? Oh, I guess I'd rather have them mess up things at the end. So I'm gonna put the alligator stickers last. Put that binder up like that. So I might've just done that for the same reason. This is key on the alligator card. But because these are literally the same outfits, we will just... Just do that and then we'll put the two alligator cards at the end here, the alligator stickers rather. But yeah, I've thought about collecting Changyun for Japanese stuff and at this point because they're so inactive in Japan, I just feel like, I don't know, can't see that being a thing. Um, all right, so what do we have left here? We have, this was his Christmas card. And then we have four cards left. Okay, perfect. And then Wish on the Same Sky only had one card. So this will be the only weird page where it's like, where's Wano? Well, I see. But yeah, I am gonna keep one of those Japanese cards because he has so many, he has 10. I feel like it wouldn't look good in an A5. So I'm just gonna keep like one page in his, is Wish on the skin, Same Sky and then Killer? I think so. I think Wanted came after that. It's been so long since Flavors of Love that we have a show new card. <laughs> it's been so long that we have a show new card. So cute. I thought about getting Shonu's card for a while just to have it, but that wouldn't really make sense now, would it? Should I turn it the other way? So it's like, yeah, probably fence. My next door neighbors have been 
jamming all day today. So if you hear them, I apologize. Especially if YouTube's copyright system hears them, I apologize. But that's what happens when you live with other people. But oh my gosh, this turned out really nice. So yeah, my only thought is that it didn't take up as much space as I thought it was going to. So I'm kind of like, what else do I put in here? But nothing wants to act like, I'll probably have something to put in here. <laughs> There's so much room in here. I am gonna keep those other um, sleeves in here though, just so that I have some sleeves. I just find it nice to like have sleeves at the back of the binder. So not sure what's happening there, but yes. Yeah, so that's it for Monster X. <laughs> Okay, and then for Stray Kids, my dirt is so huge. Because I clicked OT8 now, um, I wanted to take out Mino and Tan's earlier cards from this binder just because I don't ever plan, I don't love the way it's set up to be honest. And then I also, you know, think it would be nice to have these cards in a separate spot. So I'm not tempted to collect like a third member or OT8 or something. Um, and then just kind of start my OT8 collection here. I've also thought about putting like their pogs in this A5, but I don't know how realistic that's going to be. I really like the idea of putting, like especially because I collect two members for pogs, putting their pogs in A5, but again, I'm not really sure if there's gonna be enough room for that, but this at least gave me a little more room for this. Yeah, let me put this away. And then I think I'm just gonna set up a time lapse real quick and just go through and re-sleeve these cards because it's gonna take me a hot minute. I'm gonna do a time lapse real quick. It's been a hot minute since you saw me. It's actually probably been like four or five days, like not even gonna lie. Um, basically, I ran out of sunlight for the last clip and then I had to study because I was stressed and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. So I just ended up um, re-sleeving everything off camera. Um, <laughs> and then I had like all of my exams and I don't know why I thought I was gonna have more time during exam season this year because that like definitely wasn't true. Today, I'm gonna put the cards away now. We're gonna work on the old Lino and Chan collection. Finally, I put a bunch of sleeves in here, um, but I have extras off screen just in case we end up needing more. I think these are all the right direction. I don't know, I did this so long ago. Actually, it doesn't even matter because they're both, they're double-sided. So as long as it's going the right way, then we're good. But yeah, so I have quite a bit of both Lino and Chan's cards. So I'm obviously gonna do Chan first. Well, maybe that's not obvious, but he's older. So I'm gonna do Chan first. Um, yes. What is new with me since the last time you saw me? Um, well, I'm definitely more tired. <laughs> exam season was like real rough. So if you're going through exams right now, just know that I understand. And I hope that you're doing well. And I hope that you are remembering to take care of yourself because something that was very um, different for me this semester, usually during finals, I'm like, I'm just gonna do whatever. I'm gonna eat whatever, I'm gonna drink whatever amount of coffee I need to survive because that is important. Um, but I found this year that it was a better idea to actually try to eat a vegetable every once in a while, um, drink plenty of water, and that's it. <laughs> and try to sleep. I mean, I, I won't even lie, I did not sleep very much, but um, we tried our best, so yeah. Also, I'm really excited to be putting like their collection away like this. To be honest, since I set up for Lino, I haven't been completely satisfied with the setup, and a lot of you have also like, expressed your um your dislike of do i have we know white border i do okay your dislike of the um the way that i had them set up and like 
obviously at the end of the day it's my collection but I also haven't been super satisfied with it and when I set up my first A5s like in that first video I filmed I was like it would be really really nice to um to collect two members in A5 I'm pretty sure I said that in a video because somebody dm'd me afterwards and they were like oh my gosh I'm really happy you said that like I just started thinking is this which one is which Oh, that definitely looks like Lena. That, yeah, okay, this is right. I was right. But yeah. Um, they were like, oh my gosh, I just started using an A5. I'm gonna put like two members of, I can't remember what group it was, but they were like, I'm gonna put two members of a group in a binder. That's Chen side. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's really exciting. Cause I just think it looks really nice because especially if it's a group where the sets are all pretty cohesive, um, it looks really nice. The same way that I think like collecting three members in an A5 looks really nice. Or in a, like a nine pocket, a traditional size binder looks really nice. I'm so excited to be on vacation. I finished yesterday at 8 a.m. And then I worked like pretty much all day and I worked pretty much all day today as well. Um, and also I had some group order stuff come in. So my apartment looks a little bit like the Starship Square warehouse right now, but like not the first time we're pretty used to it at this point. But yeah, like the fact that Mom's texted me to come back during my finals too, like RIP, literally trying to like be involved in promotions because I, I do like to be involved. Like I didn't want to be completely inactive, but also like I, obviously like my exams were super important. So I was trying to balance both um, things. I'm freaking loving how this is all looking together. Like I'll do a flip here towards the end, but yeah, I'm definitely happy exams are over. Definitely was a lot. I had like papers due at the end of the semester. Usually I just have exams. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a science major. And in my experience as a science major, normally I don't have to write like papers. Normally we just get like a lot of exams um, more than papers. Like I feel like some majors, they make you write more papers and some majors you just get more exams. Like I was explaining it to my boss and she was like, yeah, that's like probably true. Having to write papers and study for my really hard science exams was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so shout out to y'all who like, who write papers regularly during exam season because I don't, I don't know. I did not know. I handed in a bunch of papers the other night because they were due at 11 p.m. and I handed them in at like 10.30 and I was reading them over and I was like, oh man. Also, the last couple of Lino cards I'm missing because we're getting towards the eras where I am missing some Lino cards. If you ever see them for a reasonable price, let me know because a lot of them are like the first press, like limited cards that I'm missing still. I just realized the other day that like my Lino template isn't up to date. Like it's not, or it's not even on my trade sale Instagram, like at all. And this glare is a lot, but there we go. Sorry if that was annoying. Not that you really need to see the facts, but it looks cool. So yeah, um, if you ever see any of the cards as we're going through here that I'm missing, let me know. Cause I need to update my actual like template. I think I took it down because I knew I needed to update my Lino template. Um, or maybe there was like something wrong on it. I think I might have marked off a card that I didn't actually have coming or maybe I bought it on Macari. I don't remember what the reason was. If you ever see them, let me know. I would love to finish this Lino like previous album card collection. And like I have considered doing OT8 for older cards, but just like through collecting Lino um, backwards, I just... I just don't want to do that for, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't want to do it for Hyunjin and Felix. And I don't want to have to worry about like their expensive prices. Cause like Chan is a cheaper member. So when I back collected him, he was a lot easier to collect than um, Lino. Luckily I was able to buy a lot of Lino cards off of a friend of mine. So that was nice, but I'm excited for it to fill up. Is this the same? This is not the same set. Do I have this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. It's this card. There we go. 
Oh my gosh, are we gonna have enough pages? We're definitely not gonna have enough pages. That's insane. Not that this part of the binder really needs to, or this like binder needs to really expand much besides like um, whatever I'm missing for Lino, obviously, but I think Levanter is where I'm lacking the most. So this is gonna be a lot of filler. I was looking at these on Macari the other day, but with Monstex promoting right now, um, they just announced their third Lucky Draws for the era the other day. So I'm not working on older Stray Kids cards right now. That's the other thing, like I say that, but if you ever see them for a reasonable, like good price, do DM me about it. But I technically am still on a buying, buying hiatus. I don't know, we'll see. Um. Okay, what do I have? Levanter is so confusing because like, okay, well I want the name card. I don't know if I have Lino's name card. I think I'm missing his name card and his Lino back card. Yeah, okay. So I will do the Gasp card because I'm assuming that's, this one I feel like isn't hard to come by. I don't feel like that, well, no, I don't think that was like a limited card or anything. Oh, for real? But like these are the same outfit, which means that like, this is probably gonna be the same outfit. I really want those to be together. So this is what we're gonna do. Assuming that Lino's card is the same, but if Chan's wearing the same outfit, then my guess is Lino is probably also wearing the same outfit. We will do one of the double-sided cards here. We actually might just have enough sleeves in here. No, I lied. We have two sleeves left. We definitely don't have enough. Um, but yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this card. Card. And then like his blue border card is a normal album card. It's not like super expensive. I just haven't purchased it yet. So. I do need that one. Nice. And then we have one page left. Is this? Oh no, we're still fine in here. We're still fine. I do have more sleeves though. Eight left, so I need three more sleeves. That's the thing with eight fives is I feel like I go through sleeves so fast. I need to just buy them in bulk on like G Market or something just to, to have them. I still haven't tried out my K Addy. And my friend in Korea is sending stuff there soon, so maybe I should actually try it out. Oh, you know what I should do though? Hold on. This doesn't make any sense. Why did I do this? Yeah, so that way it starts like at Levanter. This is like the middle of Levanter. And then the end, moving into, I don't really know if there's any certain order that I want these in. This goes with, there's gotta be one set where it matches better. Is it this set? Do we think it's this set? It is. All right, we're gonna put these two together. No, wait, we're not. We're gonna put these two together. And if it's the wrong set, then I'll change it. Oh, but I do not remember. <laughs> I do not remember. Maybe I need to look up a template now. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay. Found a template. So, so this is wrong. This is wrong. Though, are there actual, I mean, I'm sure there are actual ones. So what is Lino doing in his other one? Well, he's definitely not doing a peace sign. So it must be the go live right card, I guess. And then this Chen goes up here. That's kind of sad. I probably could swap them. I'll see what it looks like when I get that other card, but yeah. And then we have, let's see here. Obviously these go together. And then these look really good together too. These are the two Lino cards I'm missing. This Chen card, this one is gonna be really hard to find for Lino. Oh, his limited is a selfie. Oh, I didn't know that. Why is Chan's not a selfie? Chan, bestie. Okay, well, he's not doing a heart or a piece. Both of my labels are wrong. 
Don't worry about it. Both of his are selfies. Oh, that's gonna look real weird. It's the same outfit, so like it'll look nice in that sense, but it's gonna, I don't know, it's gonna look weird. Anyways, got those, and then we'll do the orange double back, double-sided cards. Nice, and then we'll start with go live, so, or in life, rather. So I do have both boys complete for in life. Uh, where do I want to start? I think maybe we'll start with the blue cards here. And then, yeah, I feel like these will, because these are the same outfits. So funny. Chan's red hair. I never knew how I felt about that red hair. I honestly, like, this was during the period where I wasn't, like, super into Stray Kids. was during In Life era. In Life era was, like, the only era um, that I wasn't super interested in Stray Kids at the time. I, like, took a little break from them. Just had, like, a lot going on, I feel like, when In Life came out. But, as y'all know, we came back strong, so. But yeah, I remember seeing this Chan red hair and I was like, he wasn't my bias at the time, but I was like, his red hair was, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite look on him. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. I don't think it was my favorite look on him, but gosh, this collection, I'm so excited about it. It fits really nicely in here. I feel like this Chan is crooked. Um, it fits really nicely in here and I think it'll be fun to have both boys in here because it didn't really make sense for them to be in my main like Stray Kids binder. Um, it didn't clear up as much space as I was hoping. I would love to put maybe pobs in here eventually, but I don't know. They have so many pobs. Like something else I could do is like older pobs if I get them, put them in here because I try to collect pretty fully for pobs for Chan and Lino. Um, Though I wouldn't be against doing an A5 for their pobs as well. I think their pobs would look really nice in an A5. Um, my thing is that I'm trying to avoid having like 15,000 A5 binders, you know what I mean? If I'm all gonna have all the big binders too. So we might hold off on that for the time being. But yeah, if you ever see any of the last cards I'm missing, um, I think there was a Mido, is there a Mido card? Yeah, so his limited you know, card. When I wrote these two, I didn't fully understand what I was writing, I don't think. But now seeing so many of them in person, I like understand. Um, and then we have the silver border card, the um, name card. I might go through and rename these because I don't like any of these names. Blue border card. And then just the last couple of go live cards. That I need. I'm gonna definitely rewrite those. And then we're done with in life. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I feel like it's a lot easier to see kind of how far I've come with my Lino collection as well because I've had Chan finished for like a long time and I just have been working on Lino recently. So yeah, like I said, this took up quite a bit of space in the binder, but I feel like it also didn't fit fully with my like normal um, Stray Kids binder, so it's good to have a home for these cards. But yeah, I don't think I would put that much more in here, especially because I sleeve my cards. I don't know. I'll have to see. So yeah, I kind of like the way that it looks without anything on the cover. I don't know. Maybe I'll add something here eventually. Also, I need to buy some like more stickers for like top loaders and stuff because I want to take some cute top loaders with me to tour. So yeah, I'm, I might do like a big decorating video. I wanna decorate my light stick too. So maybe I'll just do a whole video of like decorating things at some point. But yeah, let me know um, what you store in A5 binders in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.